Brent, that's right. The news just came down a couple of hours ago that one of the players on the UConn men's basketball team has tested positive for COVID-19. And a result of that, they've stopped all team activities and they've shut down that section of their practice facility. And of course, this could not come at a worse time for UConn because they're scheduled to start their season in exactly three weeks. The majority of the team has trained and practiced here in stores since back in June. They have not had any cases of coronavirus until now. The NCAA requires testing three times a week, so that's likely how UConn became aware that one of their players was positive. The NCAA also recommends a 14-day quarantine for any player that tests positive and anyone deemed as a high-risk close contact. Now, that is a recommendation. It is not a requirement. The player who tested positive has not been identified yet. UConn has not mentioned whether they will be isolating any additional players. They have just said so far that they're going to be stopping uh, their training procedures right now until they can conduct that contract contact tracing. Now, they do have different sections of the training facility here in stores. The women's team, I'm told, is not affected by this. They use different courts, different locker rooms. So they'll continue to practice as normal in their section of the building. I have seen some cleaners in here tonight already on the men's side of the facility. And again, they're not going to be meeting until they can continue that contact tracing, figure out who is at risk here so they can quarantine the players that need to be quarantined. We'll bring you the latest on this as soon as we get it. Live from stores tonight, I'm Kanani Stevens, Fox 61 Sports.